Hey friends, it's Essentially Jessie. I am coming at you today with a declutter. So I took a little bit of time off and really reevaluated what fragrances do I have? How long is my list of fragrances that I want to try? And I said, you know what? If I'm not wearing it, if I haven't worn it in, I don't know, like six months, or if I haven't worn it in, you know, maybe I have worn it in the last six months and I wore it and I went, mm, this is just not for me anymore. Uh, maybe it's not a bad fragrance. Maybe I have something else similar in my collection that I wear more, that I gravitate more towards. So these are not necessarily seven bad fragrances. They're just seven fragrances that aren't for me. I'm going to be doing a lot of decluttering. Like I will probably declutter 50 fragrances in the next two months. So if you like declutter videos, drop me a like and also drop me a comment below. Let me know if you like these videos. Um, if not, I'll just stick everything up on Mercari, but I wanna let you guys know first and foremost, what I'm decluttering because I want you guys to know that it's going to be for sale on my Mercari page so that you get kind of first dibs at my stuff. Um, anyway, I'm just so thankful for all of my subscribers. Um, I took a little bit of time off. Like I said, I had to take care of some things. I've got some fun videos coming up. I have tons of video ideas. If I could sit down and have the energy to film like 50 videos, I would do that right now but life goes on. I have lots of other things going on in my life as we all do. And um, if you have any videos that you want to see coming up soon, drop those in the comment section. Also let me know, I've had several requests for affordable videos, um, affordable videos, for affordable fragrance reviews, like top five, top tens, all of those things. My question is, what is affordable to you? Is it under $100? Is it under $50? Is it under $30? Let me know in the comment section below what is affordable in your eyes. So anyway, I have seven fragrances here. I definitely have a couple of shockers. Uh, I'll start off with one and we'll just get the ball rolling. I think I have boxes for most of these that I'm decluttering today. All right, starting off with the bang. I almost don't want to put this in here, but uh, YSL Libre. This is the original YSL Libre. This is the original formulation. I don't know if any of these formulations have been changed, um, but I will kind of tell you like what generation bottle I think I have. But I'm pretty sure that this is the original. I like this perfume. It's that vanilla with lavender. It's just a newer, fresher take on fragrance. I really like it. I actually have a battle video on this versus the intense version. I really like this fragrance. I don't love this fragrance and I just don't reach for it. So anyway, I have the box to this one and I'm going to, I think this is, yeah, this is it. And I'm going to let this one go. I love, like I said, I loved YSL Libre. I've obviously worn quite a bit. This is the, like I said, original formulation. I liked it. It just, it's just not for me. I'm not reaching for it and I'd rather someone else have it and enjoy it. Next up is one that I also like, but I never reach for the, this perfume. This is Mont Blanc Lady Emblem. I did a versus battle video between this one and Mont Blanc Signature. Mont Blanc Signature is the one that everyone is talking about. I picked this up. I think I still have the box for it. It's a beautiful, like floral, fresh clean scent. It's really pretty. It's just not for me. It didn't work. Um, I, you can watch my battle video between the two and I kind of really go in depth on what I like and what I dislike about it. It's a great fragrance. It's just not my signature scent. Okay, another one that I'm decluttering is Dolly. When I saw that this came out, I love Dolly Parton. I am not crazy about this cap, but if you just leave this on your, you know, you can toss the cap, it's plastic. It's a really pretty fragrance, but I don't reach for it like ever. Um, I could put this in an affordable fragrances video because it is rather affordable. Um, I picked this up as soon as I knew about it. A friend of mine texted me and said, did you know Dolly Parton has a perfume that just came out? And I said, no. So I blind bought it. Um, it's a good fragrance. I like the fragrance. It's just not for me. It's not, um, it's not hitting on all cylinders for me. It's just a, Sometimes I struggle with fruit, uh, like floral citruses, cit citrusy fragrances and florals because I don't, I feel like sometimes the floral is too heavy to wear it spring, summer. And then I feel like the citrus is too light to wear it fall, winter. I don't know. 
that's just me. That's just the way I'm rolling with this. Okay, next up I have Kenzo, and this is Kenzo Amore. This is the one fluid ounce. Um, this is very powdery. This is extremely popular. It was all over YouTube. Um, I have the box for it. Anyway, it's a beautiful fragrance, but I'm not that into powdery fragrances. I like um, Dior Homme. I love wearing that, and it's a little bit powdery, but this is powder on a next level. So the bottle is super cool. I love the shaping. I, I love the like kind of silhouette of the bottle. I think the bottle looks really cool. It looks really cool on my perfume tray. But since I'm not reaching for it, I'm just gonna let it go. Just gonna let it go. Okay, now I have one that will probably be a little shocking. This is Kaoli Invite Only Amber 23. Do I like this fragrance? Yes, I do. Do I have other fragrances in my collection? I mean, this doesn't smell just like anything that I already have in my collection. Do I wear this? I mean, we are, I'm like, I almost didn't put this in this haul because I'm thinking we're about to go to fall and, and winter and I might wear it more than I did last year, but I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. There's some fragrances that are kind of in that same genre of fragrances, if you will, that I wear, I'm really looking forward to wearing for fall. And I'll probably be putting out my top 10 for fall very soon because I love fall. Um, so that's Kaoli Invite Only, Amber 23. Again, I like it. I just don't reach for it that much. Chloe Nomad. This is the original formulation. I bought this whenever it came out. Um, if it's been reformulated, I don't know. But if it has, this is the original. Which usually they release the original and then they release uh, flankers and other things. And then sometimes they'll change the formulation. Sometimes they change the packaging. Either they can't source the materials or the fragrance inside. This is a little bit of a spicy fragrance. Um, it is a beautiful fragrance. It is, smells nothing like anything in my collection. I have seen a lot of YouTubers talking about Nomad lately, and I think it's going to be a great fragrance for fall. It's just not my personal cup of tea. And then the last fragrance that I have to declutter, I also have the box for. Um, this is one that Demi Rowling talks about all the time. This is Zen. Um, I have the box for this. It's Shiseido Zen. I blind bought this. It's like a cube. It's really pretty. I do like the fragrance. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. And again, this is that citrusy smell and she just eats this stuff up. She, I think she said she's gone through several bottles of it. Anyway, I, it's not doing it for me, but it really smells perfumey. Like it doesn't smell like a body wash or body mist. Um, I find sometimes citrusy things to me smell more like a body mist. And I can see what she likes about it, but this is just not one that I pull for very often, if ever. I've probably had that a year or two, and I literally have probably sprayed it less than 10 times. So I wanted to share these with you guys. I'm looking forward to more declutters. Let me know if you guys like declutters. Smash that like button. Also, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. I will be back with weekly perfume videos, hopefully twice a week, and maybe I'll go back to three times a week at some point whenever I get my feet underneath me a little more. Um, it's just been kind of a crazy summer for us, and anyway, I'm excited to be back and thrilled to bring you guys some more fun fragrance content. So as always, let me know your scent of the day. Let me know what affordable is to you, like what price range that is so that I can get out the videos that you want to see as, and as always, if there's anything that you want me to review or do a battle video against uh, certain fragrances, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.